Hi, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Okay, what do I want to label this video? I really don't know. Um, you know, first I want to tell you a story about... Um, and of course, you guys, I hope you guys understand this video is still going to incorporate the energies of where we are currently at. Uh, more specifically, I guess, for the 22 uh, 22 gateway. I hope I have all of those twos there. Um, which, um, if you, when you add up, completes the alpha and the omega. It doesn't mean that we are done. It's the combining of alpha and omega, the unification, which allows manifestation. Manifestation in the form of spirit to matter or creation. Let's use the word creation here to take place. Creation must be um, formed within us. You know, um, I, en I ended up speaking about that reflection in my eye. And originally I called it an orb because it was a circular orb um, that resembled um, the iris of my eye. And it actually took up the, has taken up my entire iris. Sometimes it's um, there to the point that it's like a huge bubble, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm seeing it like um, the magnifying glass that uh, makes you, that you know, when you turn it to that one point of the magnifying glass, that is just all distorted a little bit uh, because it's too close. And that's how sometimes it began very, very um, um, distorted because it, well, nothing was clear yet. I hadn't purified this. I knew in the beginning that this was in reference to my creation. My creation. And so I mentioned in um, the other video that it was my soul in manifestation or the soul in manifestation. We don't develop our own soul until we have received the spirit um, and therefore have greater understanding about us. So the actual movement of this, and I think I actually put a video or placed a video uh, maybe a year ago, and I really didn't check, of what it looked like. And it looks like when you go to, um, even if you have a bottle of water and the sun is hitting that bottle of water and you see the movement of the water, how it's, it's just moving and creating you can see all the elements or light reflecting within that water and it's just very beautiful or you go to um, the pool and the water is moving you go to the lake and the water is moving there's lots of reflected light that's what it has looked like in my eye sometimes I can see that that uh, drastic uh, movement of spirit sometimes it's still Sometimes I am in creation mode, or it's being created, and sometimes it's not because I have so much work to do, or I have work that needs to be done. Um, and so, I see it when light reflects into my eye. This reflection is a reflection of the soul and manifestation from within. And this takes place be within our... I call it the solar sacrum because it's the com combination of the solar plexus light, which is our sun powerhouse. It is the house of um, bread, the, the Beth house over the birth of Christ takes place. But the womb of creation, you know, it's in our, um, the sacral chakra um, or behind, you know, so it's not precisely within the sacral chakra. It's a development of it. It's a creation that we must go through. Um, and so I call it the solar sacrum because it combines those two elements, the element of the water of the womb, the mother's womb. And so this is what um, it has been. It is the womb of creation in itself. Um, and so I told you a couple of days ago about seeing the soul or something that uh, made me believe that it was the soul in manifestation, that um, electrical fiery orb that I ended up seeing that was uh, purple, which of course we know that purple works with the violet flame of purity. 
that purifies um, the element and refines some elements and refines them even uh, further to their highest level of purification. And so last night I ended up seeing rainbow. Um, a rainbow ribbon um, that was still going in a circular orb, very up close into my my central vision. Now, this also goes back to whenever it was that I talked about uh, the rainbow ribbon of the Antikorana. So the Antikorana is what builds the bridge to the higher mind, to the heart, or the soul embodiment, okay? Um, without creating the bridge, which means you doing the work, discovering who you are, you don't, we don't really anchor in the soul. We don't know who we truly are. It's still outside of us. We are still focused on the outside world. Um, and there's, there's no sense of knowing who you are. Now, who you are and who I am are going to, and I'm really dizzy. I'm getting very dizzy. Um as I make this video. Who you are and who I am are two different things. We must go, we must work with our inner being at all times, listening to what our inner being is speaking to us. What is great for me might not be so good for you. Only your heart is going to be able to guide you. Doing what is right for the um, towards your greater being and your greater being is always going to work towards the greatest good okay and i hope that's a hint to help you on your journey your inner being is always going to work towards the greatest good even if somebody else doesn't think it's the greatest good yet overall and in time that person probably will or other others probably will so in yesterday's video, I mentioned that is the combining of the Alpha and the Omega energies. Um, of course, it takes the, the, the higher intelligence of um, Aleph or the crown or the light of the Ein, Ein Sof as well um, to the womb of the mother, the root, um, the creation, the, um, the womb of creation, which is the mother um, Shekinah. It is uh, the Kundalini at its highest. Um, but it's also going to activate the secret chamber within the heart. And none of this takes place anyway without the higher heart activation, no matter what. And this is also what uh, is mentioned in the Bible about the bride and the bridegroom that meet, finally. This is the Alpha and the Omega and the unification within the secret chamber of the heart, um, which comes out um, as the 12 rays, the rainbow rays that are, are mixing, which is actually a part of God DNA within us, the 12 strand DNA that is activating within us. And this is also goes with um, the coat of armors, the coat of armors. I hope I am saying that right. Is it the coat of armor? Um, so the coat of many colors, the coat of many colors. And the, um, the 12 rays or the rainbow rays also acts as the breath of God. So with um, the, um, the combination of alpha and omega energies, this opens up the um, the door that no man can shut and what I spoke about at the base of the spine, which is also the mother energy. This is the doorway, but this doorway um, begins at the base of the spine. It doesn't mean the door is open yet. It's not open or will not open until um, that energy has risen to the back of the spine at the base of the, the skull where the medulla oblongata is. This is actually the opening of it, which works through our throat, but also corresponds with the secret chamber of the heart of the thymus gland. Um, all of these energy, energy centers work together. And, you know, again, that's why sometimes it feels as if there's, well, it always feels like there's so much to do. 
there is always so much to do and we're in so many levels simultaneously working together. Um, and so I just wanted to give you just a brief video that explains the ribbons, the colored ribbons that begin the activation of all things here. We're still not done yet. This is just the activation of the 12 strand DNA um, combining through the alpha and omega through um, the waters of creation here. And this is the knowing of all self or the beginning of knowing of all self still. We still have lots of work to do um, or work to do. However, wherever it is that you are in your journey, there is never a rush. Um, time on the clock um, is a way to hinder your growth or not focusing on the time on the clock and focusing on the job within keeps you working with the blood of time and that is what time is about the blood transforming the blood um, healing yourself knowing what um, makes you um, full of strength power and this is not power of control power of um, surrender in power of love power that deals with knowledge of the self and I actually should have looked through my my channel here and I might hit pause and see if I can do so okay so I went back onto my channel and it was a year ago that I began speaking about um, the fourth eye of the pineal gland and um, or the rainbow bridge of the fourth eye and also of the Andakarana. So that was the beginning of knowledge and it's taken me until today because I knew, I, I know, I know, <laughs> I am very um, aware of my own path and even when I am given knowledge from a source about an opening or the possibilities of things. My heart tells me, even though I am given this type of guidance, or if you want to call it prophecy, whatever it is, um, of what is in store, I, I still know I haven't gotten there yet because I haven't had an experience. And even if I have read about other people's experiences, it's not matching my own experience. Um, so I know I have never had an experience of receiving rainbow colored orbs um, in the amount of what I have had yesterday. Um, sure, I have had a slight um, rainbow ribbons come across my, my vision, you know, um, just like a ribbon would. But for it to be so substantial compared to where I am now, I knew before I hadn't completed something. The steps had not been completed. One, I, uh, I don't know. I still don't know. I know who my, what my heart is, is telling me to do, and I trust my own inner being. Um, but I don't, there's still a lot that I don't know. So I know that I'm not done. I haven't hit certain levels. Um, I'm still in the process of becoming. So I just wanted to let you guys know it has been a year from then to now. And even still, I know I have some more um, growing to do and I am still staying humble, humble to my learnings and teachings and becoming. And I hope that you all do as well. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.